The Henry Morrison Flagler Museum, also known as the White Hall. Located on Palm Beach Island near West Palm Beach in Florida. It is the winter residence to Henry and his wife, Mary Lily, whom Henry gave the White Hall to Mary Lily as a wedding present. They moved there in 1902. Henry Flagler was an American industrialist and a founder of Standard Oil, which was first based in Ohio. He is also the founder of the Florida East Coast Railway, in which the train ran from Jacksonville down to Key West. This is one of the greatest winter homes located on Palm Beach Island, suitable for the rich and famous. You'll find out more about this Whitehall mansion next on Around Florida. Florida, the sunshine state of the United States of America, filled with history and excitement. It has three largest cities and some large cities, and even tourist spots. And this state also has some history to it, and some famous landmark buildings, and winter homes, and everywhere you go, which is filled of surprises. And around you, you'll enjoy the best time in the Sunshine State in around Florida. Today's Around Florida we will be exploring the Whitehall Mansion located at Palm Beach Island near West Palm Beach. Hello and welcome again to Around Florida. Well, here I am standing in front of Whitehall, the house of Henry M. Flagler, located in West Palm Beach, Florida. Wow, we're going to have some fun because this is what Henry M. Flagler lives at this house located behind me. And yes, we get to see more of Henry Flagler's places in future episodes of Around Florida. Now, Whitehall is one of the greatest mansions here at West Palm Beach, Florida. I betcha you're gonna love this tour. And if you have taken an audio tour before, that's great because it's supplemental and educational to learn about his life, his history, his culture, and his greatest arts. So without any further ado, let's explore. As you are heading to West Palm Beach, imagine that you're riding on a limo down I-95. You're at the West Palm Beach area driving down the road, past the houses, by joining cyclists, and you'll reach the scenic coast. That good old Palm Beach County is really the Florida's scenic coast. You'll come across West Palm Beach, the greatest city in Florida. West Palm Beach, Florida. After a lot of driving, you arrive at this greatest city, the county seat of Palm Beach County. And along the way, you'll come across Whitehall, the winter home of Henry Flagler. Yes, the Whitehall Mansion. This is where Henry and his wife live during the wintertime years ago. Now it's time to explore this historic Whitehall Mansion. In fact, the history of Whitehall dates back in 1902, where it was a winter residence for Henry Flagler. Little did we know that there's a hotel built right behind it. And of course, 
Henry Flagler and his wife Mary Lily were happy in this winter retreat on Palm Beach Island. It is so beautiful, right to this day, filled with lots of rooms, and so much more. And now, let's look inside the Whitehall Mansion of Henry Flagler. Now we head into the main entrance, called the Grand Hall of the Whitehall Mansion. Guests of the Flaglers entered Whitehall through large bronze doors decorated with lion's heads and flanked by uniformed young doormen on duty 24 hours a day. Once inside, you will find in a massive room complete with a grand double staircase leading to the second floor. Also in the Whitehall, you will find not only some beautiful historic furniture, but also the ceiling paintings above the Grand Hall, which depicts Pythia, the priestess of the Oracle of Apollo of Delphi. The painting was done on canvas and then fitted into the ceiling space. And wow, I really love the paintings and its museum artifacts in this historic Whitehall Mansion. Visitors who come to Florida and visited West Palm Beach visits the Henry Flagler Museum of the Whitehall Mansion, where visitors enjoy the museum's artifacts and history, how the Flaglers lived in their winter retreat. Thousands of visitors visited this place every day, even during the tourist season. And of course, everyone would love to get the piece of Florida history. Also in the Great Hall, you'll find portraits and sculptures, artifacts, and head busts. This sculpture is a clock and I like the portrait of Henry Flagler himself. He's the one who made the railroad from Jacksonville to Key West that I will get to the details later on. Statues are also present inside this Whitehall mansion. It is so beautiful in European style. This footage from the 1980s is what Henry Flagler Museum looks like as it is today. Everything remains unchanged and it has been renovated throughout the years to keep its historical figure. In the next room is the library, which is used by Flagler as the reception area to greet guests and meet with business associates, and it was decorated in the masculine style of the Italian Renaissance. The family portraits of Flagler family that grace the library walls, including a portrait of Henry Flagler above the fireplace, and portraits of Flagler's father, Reverend Isaac Flagler, daughter Jean Louise Flagler Benedict, and Flagler's first wife, Mary Harkness Flagler. As we now leave the library, we head into South Hall, which will take us into 
the music room. This south hall, filled with electric lighting and indirect and subtle lighting, is quite advanced for the period. Now we head into the music room. This room is doubled as an art gallery or salon and showcased some paintings from Flagler's collection, including a portrait of Mary Lilly painted in 1902. In this room, where Mrs. Flagler held meetings at the Fortnightly Club, which is a group of women who gathered for programs of academic and literary lectures and music halls. Mrs. Flagler also hosted bridge parties in this room. And yes, where Flagler employed a resident organist each season to play the 1249 pipe J.H.N.C. S. Odell Company, Oregon, installed in the West Wall. How would you like to hear an example of an organist playing a tune in this pipe organ in the music room? Well, I guess this is going to be so exciting. So, here it is. That's the organ in the music room. Now let's check out the billiard room where gentlemen visitors to Whitehall often gathered in the billiard room for entertainment. There are three kinds of games in the billiard room. Billiards are the most common. Here's what I have to say about this. Ah, the billiard room. This is what Henry Flagler spends his day at the room with his friends. Indeed. Next up in the Whitehall Mansion is the Grand Ballroom. In this Grand Ballroom, which is Louis XV style, filled with lunette paintings created specifically for Whitehall. These paintings alternate between Watu-style bucolic or pastoral scenes and Butcher-style scenes with cupids. And the chandeliers were so beautiful. And this room is where guests come in and dance the night away, waltzing style. Coming up, in the middle of Whitehall, outside, lies the courtyard. This is spacious enough to imply light all the rooms and passages that open upon it, 
and forming a most entrancing center to this magnificent home. At the courtyard center is a marble fountain designed after the Venus fountain sculpted by Giovanni da Bologna for the Boboli Gardens in Florence, Italy. Now, as we walk down, we head into the West Hall. This room is really the west side of the mansion. Right west of the courtyard, that is. And right past that room, you'll find more treasures and artifacts into this Whitehall mansion of Henry Flagler. The breakfast room, which was used daily by the Flaglers for less formal meals, and they had breakfast in this room each morning. This room is great for breakfast, and it's so fun having breakfast in this room each morning. In this next room, called the dining room, was designed in the French Renaissance style. The Flaglers entertained large parties in this room for lengthy, elegant dinners. Flagler sometimes held dinners in the dining room for his male associates, hosting prominent men from financial, literary, and legal circles. That's especially useful for unions, as well as gatherings. Finally on the first floor is the drawing room. It was used as a gathering place for music and conservation by Mary Lilly and her guests. The room is adorned with silk fabric and light wood decorated in the Louis XVI style. Above each door and mirror is a cameo of Marie Antoinette, the ill-fated wife of Louis XVI. This room is filled with social gatherings. Now it is time to head to the second floor of Whitehall. Time to go up to the second floor. This is the morning room, which is used by Mary Lily as this private sitting room to entertain bridge parties, practice music, and maintain her private correspondence. This Louis XV style gilded screen and console piano are original to the morning room. Now we'd like to see the rest of the rooms on the second floor, guest rooms. 
There's the yellow roses room. In this lace exhibit room, it was used until the early 20th century because lace was more valuable than gold. And it has a large lace collection in this room. Now here are the rest of the second floor guest rooms. The colonial room. The Silver Maple Room. In this master bedroom, Mr. and Mrs. Flagler shared the master suite, a practice uncommon at the turn of the century. This suite includes two separate dressing chambers a large bathroom and a bedroom and this bedroom is decorated in the Louis the 16th style there are more second floor guest rooms like the blue room The pink room. Louis the fifteenth room. The gold room. The Heliotrope Room. And finally, the Green Room. and the Colonial Chamber. There's even a Flagler Keenan History Room filled with exhibits of the past and the future. And yes, there are more artifacts on the display cases on the second floor of the mansion. And there's more back on the first floor of Whitehall. And now that exploring the mansion is done, let's go outside into the pavilion. Finally in Whitehall, we get to explore the pavilion. Here we are outside. This old early 1990s footage of Railway Car 91 that was used as the East Coast Railroad. And now we entered the new pavilion that was constructed in 2005. And as we enter, we call it the Flagler Keenan Pavilion. This is where the replica of the train station awaits where railway car 
91 was now housed from the outside. Railcar 91. That was the Florida's East Coast Railway railcar. Not to be confused with a boxcar, as this pavilion is also ideal for hosting events and other occasions. Now, let's take a walk inside Railcar 91. Railcar 91 was Henry Flagler's private railcar. This railcar was built in 1886, and it is a palace on wheels. And this railcar is a private railcar that is used to survey Flagler's railroad empire. Flagler traveled by this railcar in 1912 along the Oversea Railroad to Key West to celebrate the completion of the Florida's East Coast Railway to Key West, a phenomenal engineering feat. This railcar, filled with furniture, kitchen, stovetop, beds, and bathrooms, and living room combined into one big rail car. Although it doesn't fit like the box car was used in the box car children, this rail car used by Flagler is very delicate and historical. And now that we finished exploring Railcar 91, for those of you who want to learn about Henry Flagler's history, about his railroad, here's a clip from WLRN. On January 22, 1912, Henry Morrison Flagler fulfilled a dream he'd been pursuing for decades. He rode his own iron into Key West. Flagler was 82 years old and almost blind, but he had made it. Henry Flagler was used to the world taking notice of his accomplishments, but even he was overcome by the greeting he received when his private rail car pulled into the station at Key West that morning. There were businessmen and politicians from across the state, foreign dignitaries from throughout the Caribbean and Latin America, and more than 10,000 people from the island, all on hand to cheer Flagler and his first train from the mainland. The old man was truly touched. In speeches and at celebrations that lasted a week, he was praised to the skies. He alone had done what no one else had been able to do. He'd taken on America's last frontier and pushed it back as far as you could go. Did you all know that Henry Flagler creates a railroad in the east coast of Florida from Jacksonville down to Key West? You'll know that Henry Flagler is really a resident of Florida a long time ago. Oh boy, we had a great time exploring the pavilion and saw that railway car, which is so taking us back to the good old days. We had a great time exploring the Henry Morrison Flagler Whitehall Museum in West Palm Beach. 
This is so awesome, and we love touring to this museum. Say, the next time you come to West Palm Beach, why not visit this museum and you get the historic Florida feel? So, we hope you've enjoyed this tour of this Whitehall Mansion. And so, we come to the conclusion that Henry Flagler spends most of his day at the Whitehall, his house, at West Palm Beach, Florida. That's all the time we have here and around Florida. And don't forget, I am always here to guide you through Florida's attractions all around Florida. So join me next time as we explore more of Florida and more of its Florida attractions and destinations here and around Florida. This is Mike, and see you on our next Around Florida. I'll be seeing you next time. tourists and travelers out there become a fan at facebook.com slash dragon agent productions and leave a question request or comment and view my videos there and subscribe to the keep moving forward films YouTube channel and this way you'll enjoy those travel videos on that channel and don't forget to subscribe and press thumbs up for more information about Whitehall, the Henry M. Flagler House, visit this website on the screen. So, this is Mike, and I'll be seeing you in the next Around Florida. See you next time! Join us next time on Around Florida as we take a look at the beauty that grows at Cypress Gardens located in Winter Haven, Florida. It is originally known as Florida's first theme park. So join me next time as we talk about Cypress Gardens as we look back in the history of Florida's first theme park in Winter Haven.